Hi everyone, so this is our lesson three, and it's all about the newton raphson method, and it's a, it's a root finder where it uses the gradient of a tangent to a curve, and it kind of like, it takes this point here, draws a tangent, and then finds where it crosses the x-axis, and then it repeats that, it does another tangent, and then another tangent, it keeps on finding these values where the tangent intersects the x-axis, and then it finds a tangent again. And it uses it quite niftily just from this equation here, which is the x value minus the y value over the gradient. So we can kind of show it if we just look at that, that first triangle. So there's my graph. So that's A. And I've got my tangent coming down for B. And this y value up here is f of A. So I want to work out what the gradient is, the f dash to that, for that. So you know that a gradient is a change in y over a change in x. So the change in y is the y value at a minus the y value at b, which is 0, over a minus b. So I've got f dash to a is f of a over a minus b. There. Now, if I do a little bit of messing around with it here, uh, if I switch those over, so I've got a minus b is f of a over f dash of a, that's my y value over the gradient. And then if I switch these two round, so I've got a minus f of a over f dash of a, that's going to be equal to b. Now b was the, the new x value, and a was the old x value, because it was like a start point. So like a is the old x, and b is the new x, in the same way that f of a is the old y value. So I can change the a into an x to the m, so let me move this a bit more, maybe not. So I can change the a, that becomes the x to the m, because that's the, the um, old a value. And then I've got the y value from the old a value, and the gradient from the old one. And that gives me the new one. So I can kind of change my a into x to the a, uh, and my b into x to the m plus 1. And that's where it comes from. It's quite nice, in fact, it's just gradients. Right, so let's have a go at this one, then. So it says I want to solve it. Uh, has a root near 2, so I'm, that's my start point. So I know that f of x is x squared minus 3 sine x. And I know that f dash of x will be 2x, so sine cos minus sine minus cos. So differentiate by the sine is minus cos. Now what I want to do for the first one is sub it all in, make it look really, really nice. So x to the n plus 1 is x to the n minus f of x, which is x squared minus 3 sine x, all over 2x minus 3 cos x. And I'm going to use x1 is 2. So x2 is 2 minus 2 squared minus 3 sine of 2 all over 2 lots of 2 minus 3 cos of 2. Now what I will say is because this is sine of 2, I'm reckoning it's radians. Right, so I'm going to use my calculator to do it. On the table, uh, on the, I'm just on the run matrix. So let me delete that out so, so it disappears. Right, so I'm going to put 2 in, that's not 2, that's 3. And then I'm going to do, so it's x minus, so any x I'm going to change to an ans. So ans minus the y values, which is ans squared minus 3 sine of ans. over 2 times by ans 
minus 3 cos ans. Now, I'm just leaving it in degrees for a minute because I want to see if it gives me the right answer. It doesn't, so I need to do radians. So let me just do shift menu. You'd expect on an exam question to tell you to switch to radians. And then just go back to that one. So 1.75, right. So x2 is 1.75762. So x2, 1.75762. Then if I want to one, oh, just finding, uh, I'll turn a better one. Go back to find my calculator, press equals, gives me 1.72289. If I find my calculator again, because it keeps disappearing off the screen, keep pressing buttons, press equals again, 1.72, 1.722125. Now I'm doing it to two decimal places. So if you look right now at two decimal places, 1.72 is the same. So it must be a root of uh, 1.72 to 2 dp there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we just wanted the first one. Oh, we wanted to use the 1.7. It wanted this one. So this bit, part A is just this bit. And part B is keep on going. Sorry. There you go. It's easy enough. It's not hard chip, is it? And then I've got another one for you to try. Oh, for God's sake. It's worse. Got cleared up. There, so there's one for you to do. It's always good to show this the first bit. Um, let's have a look at the next one. So we've got a problem solving one now. So um, do you know what? I've got seven minutes. I'm going to stop and start again.